world. It's your girl Phoebe, aka Breaking Up With Obesity. If you are new here, thank you so much for joining us. If you have been here, thank you for sticking around. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking. Just thank you. Today's video is not about fitness. It's not about PCOS. It's about this lovely hairdo that you see here. Um, I decided to record a tutorial of how I did my crochet install and a lot of people asked me to share it the day I was installing it. So I thought, why not just record a video and help my fellow girlfriends look and feel as fabulous as I do. Um, this hairstyle was really, really uh, random. I walked into the beauty supply store and I saw a mannequin with this hair and I took a picture of it like five months ago and I never thought anything about it. But the minute I realized we were gonna be on quarantine for a little bit longer, I decided I needed to do something with my hair because yes, I am still working. I am an essential worker. I work in a hospital, so we are not closed. And I told myself I could not look bad just because we're on quarantine. So I bought like six pack of this hair and I just kept it in the house. Um, yesterday I decided, you know what? It's time for a new hairstyle. I'm tired of wearing my head wraps to work. I wanna look cute, I wanna feel cute. Quarantine or not, I deserve to look and feel cute. So I installed this. It took me about four hours to do it, only because I've never really done crochet like this. I've crocheted faux locks in, but I've never did um, crochet with the individual hairs. So this was the first time for me. Um, in the beginning, it took some time to get used to like the looping and putting it in, but then once I got the hang of it, I flew right through it. And it was an easy process. And it's honestly something that I am going to do again. Um, but enough about the background story. Let's just get to the video so I can tell you all how I achieved this beautiful look. All right, so first things first, I wanna share with you all the hair that I used to achieve this look. I used the Free Tress Braid Two Times Wand Curl Braid Collection. Um, ringlet Wand Curl is the style. I got the color 30. And again, I bought six pack of these and this is what it looks like. Um, I hope you all can see that. I only used three and a half of these um, and that was because I really wanted the hair thick. I like big hair, it just fits me better. So I used three and a half and honestly, I would have used four if I didn't run out of hair, like places to crochet in. But the hair come like this, it's individual. Um, so it's one piece and you just crochet it onto your hair. The curls honestly do not change once you install it, it stays. Um, and that's the one thing I'm loving about it so far. I've slept on this hair for like a day now and I just wake up, shake it and go. And it looks like this, like I don't spray with anything. I don't fluff it out. I literally just shake it up and it just looks like this. So again, this is the hair that I got. It is the free tress braid wand curl braid in the style um ringlet wand curl color 30 it comes in like 10 other colors so you don't have to get this color but as it gets warmer i tend to gravitate towards like blonde hair it's just my thing i just really like it on myself the darker i get the better the blonde looks it's just me but um yeah so at my local beauty supply store this was 9.99 i kind of saw that it was cheaper online it's like $6.99 online. So if you can purchase this online, I will say get it online instead of getting it at the beauty supply store because they tend to like wax, like make their prices ridiculously high for no reason. But overall, I do like it. But to achieve this look, I braided my hair down into cornrows, just straight backs. Um, the only thing that I did differently for crochet that I see others do on YouTube is for the first three, like for three of these braids, I created a Y. Um, so basically I took two cornrows, I did one, two, and then I connected them into one going straight back and that created the Y. And the reason I did that was to help me create this invisible part, which would allow me to part my hair in the middle without you seeing my cornrows, um, a side part, Again, without you really seeing cornrows, I could do a side part over here as well. Um, despite doing that, I don't think I'm ever gonna do a side part because it's just not my thing. I'm gonna do a middle part and I'm probably gonna do a full bang and that's it. But when I did my research, that's what I saw others doing and I kinda liked it. 
I did not cornrow my hair myself. I don't know how to cornrow. I know. My sister cornrowed my hair for me. Um, she did a fabulous job. Thank you, Monka. Um, and when she did that, we just took the hairs that were left behind here and sold them to the top. And that was it. I am going to attach a picture just so you all can see exactly what it is that I'm talking about. Because I know me just talking doesn't make any sense. But I am going to put up a picture just to show you all how the hair looked when I cornrowed it. Um, I did capture some video of the installation. So check it out. So what I am doing here is I am taking my crochet needle, which is one of the tools you are going to need to achieve this style. I'm taking the needle and I'm sliding it under my cornrow. And as I'm sliding it under the cornrow, I'm making sure that the latch is closed because if the latch is open, it will pull at your natural hair, which is going to hurt a lot. Once the needle is under the cornrow, open the latch, grab one piece of crochet hair, hook the hair onto the needle, Close the latch, pull the needle and the hair under the cornrow until a medium sized hoop is formed. Once you have that loop, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the tail end of the crochet hair, fold it over the cornrow and stick it through the loop. Pause. Once it is through the loop, you're gonna take that loop and twist it around your finger. Take the tail end one more time and stick it through the loop. Once you've done that, you can secure the hair by pulling it and tightening it. Um, and what it does is it tightens to the coral that is on your scalp. And the reason you are double looping it is because it prevents it from sliding out. Something that I learned the hard way because as I was doing my hair, it just kept sliding out. This hair is very slippery, although it looks like it's kinky. It's not a kinky hair. The curls are very soft. So if you do not do a double loop or a double hook, it is going to slide out. That's why I'm just putting an emphasis on that. Um, so once you do that, you have your first crochet. Clap for yourself. The first stitch is a very important one. Once you've done that, you can repeat it until your head is covered, except for the front part, because for the front part, we're gonna be doing something a bit different to really achieve that invisible part that we are all going for. Give me rowdy. clamp to keep the hair out of the way because I was pulling some of the hairs that were already crocheted into the hair that I was trying to crochet. I don't know if that makes sense, but it was frustrating. So yeah, get yourself some clamps or banana clips, whatever y'all call it. Just make sure you have some because it's very helpful. All right, so we are now working on the front part of the hair and right here is when we begin the invisible part method. And it may seem tricky watching me do it, but once I explain it and you try it several times, you'll realize it's really not that tricky. What you are doing is you are doing the same thing we've done at the back of the hair to the front of the hair. The only difference is we are not using both tail ends of the crochet hair. We are using just one. So when you put that needle through the cornrow, you are going to hook the crochet hair onto the latch. Pull the needle through with the crochet hair and form that loop. What you are doing is, rather than sticking both tail ends through the loop, we are sticking just one piece of the hair, just one tail. We are going to do our double loop, basically twist and stick it through again. Pull, secure, and that's it. That hair that is left over, you are going to flip over to cover the cornrow, and that is the entire invisible method for this crochet look. I know it may seem hard, but I'm going to break it down one more time. So you are going to grab your crochet hair with your needle. You are going to put the needle through your hair with the latch closed to not rip out any of your hairs. Attach the crochet hair to the latch. Close the latch, pull it through, form your loop. Pull one piece of the crochet tail, stick it through the loop, twist, stick it through the loop again, tighten, make sure it's secure, and then you're flipping that hair over to cover the cornrow. And as you can see, the invisible method is already beginning. It's really short and simple, 
Um, you may not get it the first time or the second, but just keep trying it and work in sections and see how you like it. If it looks like you have too much space, take it out and do it again. But it's honestly really, really simple. We're just um, putting in one tail end instead of both tail ends to achieve this. <music> to the very front of your cornrow you want to actually divide the crochet hair into smaller sections because the hair is really thick it's going to be hard to pull it through those small sections of your cornrow so you actually want to divide it into maybe twos or threes and the smaller it is the neater it actually makes the part look because it goes from being big down to being small and it just makes it look even more natural um, so that's why I'm emphasizing that you should section the hair off once you get closer to the front of your um, cornrow, like to right where my forehead is, I started slowly dividing one piece of crochet hair into like threes and it allowed me to have this more natural look. And even my hair was to be blown by the wind, you won't be able to see my cornrow because the hair is just falling in all the right places. Plus it also gives it like this gradient look, like it goes from like light to really full. I don't know. It just looks really great. I hope you guys kind of get what I'm saying. Give me rowdy. about three hours to do the hair I used three and a half packs of the hair I bought six and I have two and a half remaining so I honestly could have used less but I really like big hair so that's why I use so much I did an invisible part because I'm gonna be wearing this primarily as a middle part um, and as you can see it's pretty invisible you can't really see my cornrows you can barely see my roots at the moment, which is what I was really going for. So I would say this was a successful um, first attempt at a crochet installation. I've done crochet with like faux locks, but I've never done a crochet with like, I guess, loose hair. I don't know what to call this, but this was in the beginning it was a bit frustrating, but the end results blew me away. So I'm probably going to be doing this again. And because I have two and a half packs left, if this hair starts looking rough, I may just touch it up and keep it going. We are currently on quarantine. And despite that, I'm going to look my best. <laughs> um, but I hope you guys enjoy this video. I look forward to making more videos like this. I actually had fun recording this. It's fun getting to show you guys another side of me that isn't just like fitness related or PCOS related. One thing that I really do enjoy is like hair, makeup, fashion. 
um so i'm excited to introduce more of that on my channel and it's been exciting to see how many people are interested in this video and interested in also like installing some crochet so if you enjoyed this video please like the button please click the like button oh my god click the like button don't forget to subscribe tell your friends to tell their friends to come here subscribe and hang around because i have a lot of amazing things in store for you all and i'm just thankful that you guys are here with me okay anyways take care and see you in the next video ciao